Good morning, Madam Caro. Once more, I want to speak to you on the same matter, which is UAAA grant disbursement. My name is Abdul Garba. I'm speaking from Kida in Kogi State. For the benefit of those that may listen to this voice note, I want to give you more analysis because of the voice note of Obi Wagbo and Ambassador Dr. Ken Wagama, you posted in Ife Fenye Outlet and the uh, Esimo UAG support group. You see, Madam, there are a lot of things that are being hidden by both parties. I mean, the UAAG camp and the AP, APGPN camp. Those are the major contenders, perceived major contenders by the public now. None of them is telling the complete truth. Because at one point or the other, they have involved themselves. In other words, none of them is a saint. It's only the degree of involvement that is higher. But for anybody to claim that he never deceive anybody, he never did this, he never collect this, he never this, I can give a vivid account of what happened after is a lie. Let us be very frank to ourselves. In the first place, these are my analysis. In the first place, there is nothing that you, there's nothing like UAAG. If UAAG existed, existed, it was put up for the reason of what has happened. Many people were scammed, defrauded. What is the real thing that existed? The real thing that existed is UAS grant. Who is the mastermind of this UAS grant? Is late Professor Brimey. Take note of all these points that I'm making you know, and forget about what Apostle Paul, what AGPGN, what all this they are saying. They know the truth. Who is the mastermind of UAS grant? His late Professor Brimey, that man from Edo State. He was the president and chief. He was the president of the UAS. This is the man that was the brain, the mastermind of that money. Who was the facilitator of this UAS grant to come to Nigeria? The facilitator was late Beatrice Umbu Odudu, aka Mamarita. She is or was the facilitator of this UAS grant. How? Professor Brimey saw the condition of Nigerians and wanted to help use his position as the president of UAS. Sought for this money, but for this money to come to Nigeria, 
this is where Beatrice Umboa Odudu come inside or came inside. She is to facilitate this money coming to Nigeria. But how she needed all the condition is that there must be an NGO to move this money to Nigeria. As of that time, Beatrice Umbua Odudu had no NGO. And since NGO is a requirement to move this money to Nigeria, that is where the issue of sanctuary wealth came in. She used sanctuary wealth because as of that time, she had no NGO. Whether she was processing an NGO as of that time or not, I wouldn't know that. But even if she was processing an NGO, it was not completed that can qualify her NGO to move the money to Nigeria. And that is how she brought in Sanctuary World. Sanctuary World is owned by Apostle Professor Dr. Ken Wakama. Unfortunately, when she secured this grant to come to Nigeria, UAS grant, not UAGO, when she secured this UAS grant to come to Nigeria, using Sanctuary Wealth NGO, the document that she came with to Nigeria, unfortunately, I use the word unfortunately, the document fell to a wicked hand. That is her pastor. I don't want to measure because this vinod may go viral. The document fell to a wicked wrong hand. That is her pastor. When she took the document for prayer of sources that she has facilitated to come to Nigeria to pray. At that point, the pastor behaved like Satan. How did she behave like Satan? I will explain. Satan was one of the holy angels in the heaven. Satan was there when God created man and woman. There, Satan saw, say, ah, all the heavens, we in the heavens, the holy angels were worshipping God. God has created humans again. The whole earth will be worshipping God again. At that point, Satan desired that he too want to be worshipped by human. Gradually, she put this, this hidden desire into practice. There, this holy angel knows the ambition and put it into practice so that he too can be worshipped. Eventually, we all know the story, how he deceived Adam and Eve, how some other angels followed him because of evil desire. So this pastor, after seeing this document, became ambitious that he himself want to. I'm sure you know some part of the story, what happened. Well, it was speculated that late Mrs. Beatrice Umbu Odudua's death was mysterious. Let us not go to that aspect of it. UAS grant that was facilitated by this late woman came to Nigeria with the condition that an NGO will disburse this grant and the project. The condition of UAS grant is 20% for grants. The remaining percentage of the money will be 
for projects across the 36 states of Nigeria and federal capital, down to the lo all local government and world levels. That has been the project. That has been the condition that that money was released. Why I say they are all not speaking the truth, especially Apostle Ken Wankama, and to some extent, APGN, is this. They know that that grant, 80% of it is for projects, and only 20% is for grant, cash, to Nigerians. The person who mentioned this, the only person who spoke some truth about it to some extent is Honorable A.A. Musa. He mentioned this thing very clear during his chat in APGN chat room with Ostas Dawood last year. That all these one people are talking about giving billions, giving millions to people. He said no, if it's UA, <coughs> if it's UAS money. There's nothing like that, though. Professor, I mean, Honorable A.A. A. Musa is a member, is one of the executives of UAS. All right. UA, there's nothing like UAAG grant. I'm saying it today again. You know. Now, when this woman came to Nigeria, she died. The original document is with the wicked pastor. No way. The wicked pastor held to it. Now, the husband got wind of it, but the husband cannot lay hands on the document. The family got wind of it, but they cannot lay hands to the document. And that is why the family member has been saying that all he wanted is to just to cite the document but the wicked pastor held to it now the wicked pastor with intention of altering the document to remove sanctuary words hurriedly put up his own NGO but he perceived the danger of completely altering the document because the originals for this UAS grant, there are three originals. One original with the donor, one original with the central bank. If he alters the original, which the woman come with Beatrice Ludu, which he hijacked, if he alters the original, it becomes a very dangerous game for him. Because other originals will be traced. Automatically, it is a matter of jail matter. And that's why he never presented that document. Up to tomorrow, he has not presented it before anybody. What would have been the solution? What happened is pride. Had it been the families of Beatrice Odua, Odudua, came into negotiation and meeting with the husband how do we solve this problem they would have also brought in the person whose name was on the document that brought the money into nigeria which ngo that is century well whether you say century well whether you say Ken Wakama is the same thing. Even if it's only sanctuary wealth on the document, somebody owns the sanctuary wealth. And who owns the sanctuary wealth is Ken Wakama, even if his name is not mentioned there. If the three of them would have come together, say, this is how, let's pursue one agenda, the family, the husband, and sanctuary wealth. Maybe by now, we will not have been saying what we are saying. So, keep AGPGN out of it. If these three people would have come together, Sanctuary Wealth, family of Beatrice Odudu, and Josephat have come together, we will not have been saying what we are saying now. How? 
One, the owner of Sanctuary to Wealth said he must disburse that grant, the UAS. Now, if he said he must describe, disburse this grant, UAS, was he following the terms and conditions of UAS grants? No. He said he has UAAG. And UAAG is to disprovoke, disburse billions and millions of naira to Nigeria. It is not, it's not the condition of UAS grant. UAS grant said 20% of the whole money. That is that. Take note of that. So, what Ken Wakama is still promising Nigeria is not UAS grant. He said UAAG grant. Well, where did he sort the UAAG grant from? Maybe later we will know that one. But if it is UAS grant, it is not billions and millions of Nigeria, of Naira. And now, why the three of them could have come together? Fine. They didn't follow that way. That is the work of Satan. Now, where Beatrice, Odudu's husband, and the family cannot pursue it legally far was that. Along the line, the woman died. Even if the woman have set up an NGO, or she has intention of setting an NGO, so that she can use the her own NGO to disburse the money that she brought in. She used the vehicle of sanctuary wealth to bring to Nigeria. We don't know what the will of the woman is. None of us can say it now. Because the woman is no longer alive. Since the woman is no longer alive, now sanctuary wealth will capitalize on that, say, it must be there. And now the family or the husband cannot come together and stand against sanctuary wealth because the family and the husband are also divided. Now, the husband cannot go too far because the will, nobody can say this is the will of the woman. Is it the will of the woman now to change sanctuary wealth and use St. Hero's Lifeline? An NGO that has not even been completed before the woman died. It becomes a legal matter. That legal matter can linger on for years. Yet Nigerians are suffering and wallowing. Now, that aspect, they cannot fight sanctuary wealth. Whether it is the will of the woman that use, she only use sanctuary wealth vehicle to bring the grant in Nigeria and use her own to disburse. Nobody can prove that one now again. The original document, they cannot, Josephat cannot even go far at the family because they themselves have not even seen the document. The only person that has seen the document is the wicked pastor. And the wicked pastor, knowing fully well that this is the correct position, he will say, instead of me to give this document to them, I will hold it, let's scatter the whole thing. They took him to AFCC, took him to here, but nobody can force him to bring any document out. So now, all this time, AGPGN were following this thing in error, in darkness. Not until after some times, not long ago now, that they a link to them to where another original document could be which I suspect is Central Bank of Nigeria. That Central Bank of Nigeria, there, they will see the original document and see the contents of the grant. The contents of the grant is not billions and millions. Project and 20% of the money for the, that is UAS grant. That is why you see now language started changing. Palliative, that, 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 that. they call it palliative because the money is not millions and billions to be given to this. Thing. Those who brought the money, that is that is not their intention. I'm talking of UAS grant. Now, 
since they have seen the other original document where the the the, the grant is domiciled in nigeria they have access to it they must follow why did government come in nigerians need this money it is meant for nigeria 20 percent of it to be given as cash joseph Hart want to pursue legal to some extent families of beatrice odudu they say they want to see the document that their daughter brought ken wakama said the document is bearing whole uh, sanctuary the world although he has not seen it although he has been told but he has not seen it you have seen three dimensions now the families of the mastermind the brain behind this money all professor brining they are also aware the part that their own husband or their their family head played as president of uas remember immediately after professor brami died there was uas was divided who should be the next president who should not be uas was divided some part of the us are following ken wankama some part deviated they want to follow joseph Hart. that part is part of honorable a a musa because A.A. Musa know that the facilitator of this grant is late Beatrice Umbua Ododo. And she was putting up an NGO before she died. So now quickly, Musa, it, Musa was accused of trying to insert his name through uh, Joseph Hart. Trying to insert in his name as one of the members of the board of directors of St. Rita's Heroes Landline. So, government is aware of all these things that people are playing. UAS headquarters was divided. Some are trying to incite their name to become members of the board of directors of St. Rita's Heroes Landline to fight so that St. Rita's Heroes Lifeline should disburse that grant saying it is the will of Beatrice Ndudu. And they cannot prove that that is the will of Beatrice Ndudu. The name that is on that document is Santary Well. If every person will come up with this legal tussle, here and there, here and there, when will this money be with this boss? Government has a responsibility. Hence, government step in. Government has not stepped in what are the conditions for this money that came into Nigeria? An NGO should disburse it. And now, so many NGOs are fighting to disburse it. So, okay, let's, let's kick out the NGOs. Or, we will not kick them out completely, but we are going to supervise. We we'll take over. What are the conditions? What are the next conditions? 20% of that money is to be given as cash grant to Nigeria. The remaining is project execution can you see now that government is doing exactly what the donors required all this one that they are talking eh, the money to leave nigerians i, I mean, everybody know that i'm very uh, i'm not i don't put my hand in things i've spent a lot of money i have done this one and if you give me chance i will deliver this uh, grant in one week I will, if this one is that i'm not citing any personal i am telling you the truth and if you like take this voice note to anywhere sit down and listen to them there's nothing like uaag grant there is nothing like UAAG grant. Second time. There is nothing like UAAG grant. This is the third time. That, that is the much that I know. But I am aware that there is UAS grant. UAS grant. The brain behind UAS grant, I repeat again, is Professor Brimey, that man from Edo State. He was the president of UAS. The facilitator. The person he was to use to facilitate to bring the grant to Nigeria was late Beatrice Mbua Odudu, using 
sanctuary world. And that grant is not meant for uh, uh, NGO to get billions, uh, cluster head to get billions, uh, uh, beneficiaries to get millions. No. So, on the side of AGPGN, it is not AGPGN that say they want to give palliative. AGPGN has no money, has no any money. They don't have any grant. After some time, they discovered that that grant is UAS money. After they have gone very far with Ken, just as Ken said, they were missing road here and there, here and there, here and there. So let me just stop here. Thank you. Thank you.